So I'm here at Hades Reach, um, getting ready to go to an event. Hades Reach is a higher level area, and you can bet that the events are going to be higher level. The behemoths are going to be much more difficult in some way. So here we go. This island event is called Melting Point. I think there's only one or two other randoms here. So, this ought to be interesting to see. So, I've been uh, on this particular character. I think in my uh, two videos prior, I was talking about how I was going to be trimming down my friends list. Simply because it's been, uh, it's been, the list has grown a lot and, um, and there's just a lot of inactive friendships on there. Whoa. Well, let me get to that in a moment. Let's go ahead and take care of this clown first. Man. That big old Embermane, man. He's a level 18 two-star Embermane. So I gotta do everything I can to be careful with him. And because he's so quick, I'm gonna have to remember to be patient. Goodness, I do extra damage when he's angry. You could say, don't make me angry. You wouldn't like me when I'm angry. <laughs> no, please, be angry now. Oh, well, he just lost his anger. Where is he at? Whoa. Oh my god, junk chasing after me here. And Grook Rooks in molten whatever they call it. Oh, there we go. Oh, big boy. You're almost down. Got him. I don't know. That wasn't me that knocked him down, I don't think. That was very odd. Okay. Let's go with the next one. It's gonna get even worse. I already know it. Oh, it's a Skarn. This one's a level 18 four-star Skarn. How fun. And I got Grook Rooks on me. I hate dealing with Grook Rooks, but it's gotta be, it's got to be, so. Tumbled too soon for that one. Oh well. It's okay. Didn't tumble too soon for that one. Sit down, please. Thank you. Huh. Almost got me there, buddy. Yeah, so I've been making some revisions and just doing a lot of editing on my friends list and everything, just trying to clean it up. And so I kind of based how I was going to clean my friends list up, I was basing it on a few things. Um, because I had, I had the opportunity of making a few good friends on Dauntless. And I wanted to make sure that even though I might not be currently active with them, uh, that I still kept them around because you never know. Um, there could be a chance that we could uh, reunite and uh, spend some time together again. Um, a lot of these individuals, well, not a lot, but a good portion of them, are usually busy with real life issues and dealing with real life, and they just don't have time to play Dauntless. I know that it was kind of like that with me as well. So I kind of based it on um, three pieces of criteria in terms of how I was going to keep, uh, who I was going to keep and who I was just going to go ahead and remove. Um, the first thing that I did was I had to ask myself the question, um, are they someone that I'm currently active with? That's the first thing. 
Am I currently active with them? Am I spending... Are we doing hunts together? Maybe we're in the same guild. You know, so that was the first... Uh, that was the first part. Man, these Grookrooks are all over the place. That means something bad is about to come. Something very bad. <laughs> no. Ouch. Okay. Just keep tumbling after me, huh? Fine. There's two more there that I gotta deal with. Ouch. Okay. There we go. The second piece of criteria was uh, maybe I haven't been um, actively adventuring or hunting with them, uh, but are they basically someone that I've had a good rapport with, a good friendship with, and uh, they just basically took a leave of absence for one reason or another, and just haven't been playing Dauntless because of they're dealing with, uh, you know, other commitments and obligations. Okay, we're up against a level 18 Hellion, a four star, and the tough part, I am not fireproof. So that's the second piece of criteria. Okay, let's dodge this first. Concentrate on this Hellion while I'm trying to talk here. Ugh. Ugh. Ah, I gotta be I'm dealing with this crazy tail. You know what? I've got no pride. Let's heal. Whoa, what was that? Major explosions going on here. And I am about to go down if I'm not careful. Okay, there we go. Here he comes. Oof. Ah, I went down. It's okay. I've got my legendary here with me. This one seems a, bit, a little bit tougher for some reason. And the fire damage seems to be... The burning. I don't know. It just seems to be a little bit more robust than usual. Oh, gosh. And I got these things... Molten things coming after me, too? <laughs> okay. No pride. I'm gonna heal. Oh, coward. No, dude. I'm taking you down. Sorry. There we go. <laughs> So anyhow, uh, the third piece of criteria that I used uh, determining whether I was going to keep someone or not uh, was were they individual, were they an individual of what I call sentimental value. Um, that means maybe they haven't been online for a very, very long time and uh, I haven't seen them in over six months, maybe even longer. And I just remember having a very good uh, friendship with them and a good r rapport with the individual. Uh, so I decided I'm just going to go ahead and keep uh, them on my friends list in the hopes that maybe possibly I would see them again. So I think that's how I decided I was going to clean my friends list up. Basically, number one, are they someone that I'm currently active with, like with my guild? Or number two, are they someone that I've had a good rapport with and uh, have had, uh, I guess, extended game playing time with them? and just an overall good experience and then finally are they someone of sentimental value uh, to me but I think I'm done with this event so let's move on to the next one okay I'm still here at Hades Reach uh, getting ready to go to another island event uh, there's a random here with me called Big BOFC I don't know what that means, but this island event on Hades Reach is basically called Rock and Roll. So, here you go. Let's get ready to rock and roll. <laughs> <sighs> it doesn't look like there is any other randoms or anyone else on this particular island. Then again, it's kind of not surprising, considering the time. Where's this guy going? He just took off. Hmm. Well, we're going to find out. 
We'll see if he's coming back. Or maybe I'm just going to have to fight this thing on my own again. Whoa. Okay, it's a scarn. <laughs> well, I guess that's a good thing. It's a, it's, it's a scarn. Okay, the random's coming back. Well, okay, cool. It's always good to have some kind of company during these events. I don't like to solo them, but I have no problem with soloing them if I have to. because I wasn't at the right angle. I noticed that whenever I throw my Iceborne Spear, if I am not at the right angle, like maybe directly in front of the behemoth when it occurs, sometimes it just doesn't work. That's a bummer. mode, but he's angered, so I'll do more damage more damage as a result of his anger, which I have no problem with. I have no problem with doing with them being angry. No problems whatsoever. Okay, he's down. That's one. Now let's see what this event brings next. I don't know how many rounds it is. Generally, it's either two or three, unless it's unless it's something specialized. <laughs> wow, they just keep appearing. What is this? Rounds of Grook Rooks or something? another scar, but this time he's a level 19 four star. Okay, so he's slightly higher. It's alright. It is of no difference to me. We're going to fall either way. I just took was to try and recharge my uh, my uh, my lamp feature or my lantern feature or my lantern special. Well, not my lantern special. It's to recharge my ice horn faster. Oh, so you're gonna go and run and heal? Yep. Sooner or later, I'm going to break parts off of this clown. I just broke off the face. If I time my reloads and everything just right, he won't be able to hit me. If I time it right, of course. There he goes. He's down. That was three rounds. I'm assuming that's it. Yep, that's it. 
Well, that's all for the island event of rock and roll. Okay, so I'm over here at Razorcliff Isle, and I'm on my way to an island event. It looks like it's a high alert, and there are some randoms on this island. Um, it looks like we're at a full group. Uh, it looks like there's about six of us out here. So I'm going to head on over to the event. There it is, and it's a Rizakiri. It's a level 22 five-star Rizakiri. thing about this is that this Rizakuri is probably a heroic Rizakuri and so it's going to be it's going to be kind of tough fighting this thing it's just one round since it's a high alert event uh, let's just hope I don't get myself killed <laughs> a full group over here. There's about there is six of us on this island. This group. These guys are these guys are dropping like flies. The thing is, is I don't know if anyone's even using their revives. The challenge is, is I just joined this group, so I don't know exactly their situation. I don't know how long they've been on the island. I don't know if they've had other events and if they've used their revives. I'm not sure. here. Yeah, this Rizakiri is pretty harsh. I have to be very careful. barrier. I hope I can break this barrier down. I don't want to be stuck in this barrier. Oh, someone else broke it down. That's a good thing. And then, at the same time, somebody is down. spawned a healing globe in a little while. That's usually not a good sign. I hope I spawn a healing globe soon. I think what I need to do is I just need to go ahead and just use a potion. Man, I missed him. Okay. Let's just be cautious and careful here. Rizakiri is about halfway down so far. We still got five minutes left to take him down. Ah, 
healing globe at last. Okay. So far they've been stunning this Rizakiri, which is a good sign. And it's almost down. I knew that was gonna happen. Where am I? <laughs> okay. Ah. Gotta get out of this thing's way. firing away and hammering at it. Uh-oh. Okay, let's get out of the way. Wow. This whole group is down. It looks like half the part half of the group is down. <laughs> It looks like half of the group doesn't have revives. Get ready. Ah, I fell. I don't believe this. Ugh. Oh, at least he's down. That's a good sign. And I think that is it for the event. Yep, it is. Let me go grab the reward. There we go. Okay, that's it for that event. Let's see what the next one will hold. One thing's for sure, these events are getting harder. Okay, I'm heading to the next event. The next event is Swarmageddon, it looks like. And the challenge is, is that I think I'm the only one that's going to be here for this event. That could be a little bit of a problem. Oh, there's one other person here. Snarlet Happy. Okay, here we go. Oh gosh. Swarmageddon and it's you know what? Valamire. from really stinging around. You either have to stun it or you have to break parts off of it. And it's kind of hard to do with these. Oh, great. Alright, I got no choice. I gotta break these things first so that I can break the shield. Alright, if we can break 
get through this. There we go. Looks like it's just me doing this. down. So that's a good sign. That's a sign of progress. Uh-oh. I gotta deal with this thing first. Yeah. first wave. Now for the next wave. Still no other randoms around either. Oh no. A scrave and a shrike. Okay, here we go. Concentrate on one at a time. Ah, I went down. Oh well. I tried to heal. It's okay. I just gotta keep concentrating on the one. On one of these guys. If this grave will get out. Concentrate on the other owl. Ah. This is tough to do when you're soloing it. Oh my gosh. This is getting crazy. Alright, hold on, hold on. Let's use my legendary thing in a moment. There we go. Excuse me, fellas. Alright, got the Moon Reaver out of the way. Now to deal with this grave. Okay, 
What's he doing? This is this hard one? I can't stun him. Alright, so we're just gonna have to continue to break parts off of him. off of me. There we go. We're off now. Got him. He's down. That was close. <laughs> and I hate to say it, but that was tough, too. I gotta try. <laughs> this is rough. I gotta deal with the Stixians and this crazy beast. rough because there's no way for me to stun him. I have to be patient. That's all I can be is patient. be able to take this thing down. Got him. He's down. That was kind of rough, too. Okay, how many more rounds do I got? Oh my gosh, what is it? It's a Shriken. This guy. Okay, here we go. <laughs> the ronin of unusual size. It's a frost one too, but yeah, I think we're gonna have to take these guys one at a time. Shrike. Ugh. All right, I got this these bugs on me. He always pros a problem. Well, at least I broke his tail. Yeah, we're only halfway done with this guy, though. 
I don't know how much longer I'm gonna be able to last. Yeah, well, we got no choice. We gotta keep trying. Ah, the strike is a distraction. Hard when I got these other guys on me. That's what it is. Oh, I'm down. Okay, legendary. Here we go. Okay, this goofy Nasher's down, and I can deal with the owl. Just be patient with it. Yeah. Ah, he got me with that little... Ah. That crazy, crazy bird. This is hard to do when you're by yourself. I don't have any means of being able to... to stun him because I don't have my eyes born. Then again, I was never any good at that anyways, so I may as well just do what I'm good at, dodging and being patient. There we go. We got the upper hand now. And he's down. That was pretty good. Is that it? Did I finally get through all of this? <laughs> I did it. Wow, that was rough. But, I was able to do it. That's a first. I sold Swarm again. And... Okay, well that was quite the accomplishment. Now for the next event. <laughs> okay, so here we go. I finally got the event that I'm looking for. It's called Rock and Roll. So I'm heading over to it right now. I've been waiting for this event for a little while. And uh, I happen to be hunting uh, with my hunting partner, uh, Firefly. So it was good that uh, they were able to help me out. I've been waiting for this event for how long? <laughs> Seems like forever, actually. Okay, here we go. Finally, we're finally going to complete this. Ouch, okay. sound is working on this. This will not be good if the sound's not working. I think it is. I can barely hear it. Yeah. Okay, the sound's working fine. Now 
let's just concentrate on not dying. <laughs> oh, well, first thing I said, concentrate on not dying, and what do I do? I die. <laughs> okay. There's something else here that's bugging. That's crook crooks. That's what it is. I was wondering what was hitting me. Okay, we gotta deal with these grub books because they're gonna mess with everybody. So I've gotta deal with them right now. Good, they took care of that. So that's the first round. I was wondering what was going on. Here we go, more Grook Grooks, of course. Well, I guess that's why it's called Rock and Roll, huh? <laughs> yeah, because there's a lot of Grook Grooks. Silly. <laughs> Should have known. Cool. So far, so good here. Okay, so it's Nasher. <laughs> it's the Rodent. Unusual size. <laughs> I don't know how many rounds this is, though. But I'm just gonna have to treat it like it's at least two or three rounds, just to be on the safe side. tail. There we go. One tail broken. Okay, let's just continue breaking parts here. Got him. Okay, he's down. There might be a third round. No, that's it. We finished it. Hooray! Have to thank my friend Fly Firefly for sticking with me on that. All right, it's on to the next island event. And I can finally finish out this video. Hi viewers, remember to subscribe, like the video, comment, and click on the little bell to receive notifications of future content. Have a good one.